Hey, hi, how y'all doing? What's the goddamn deal, YouTube? It is, of course, your boy Volandis back with another video. And as always, before we get this video started, I need y'all to head over to the like button and get into a physical altercation with the like button. Punch him in his face, stump him out, put him in a hospital, whatever you gotta do to support your boy is always gratefully and truthfully appreciated. Now to all of my beautiful people, because only beautiful people watch this channel, make sure your silk scarf, do-rag, whatever you're wearing on top of your head to keep your hair nice and protected. Make sure it's tied to perfection. Make sure your skin is looking good and make sure you're hydrated. Okay, so now that all of that is out of the way, let's talk about today's video. In today's video, we're going to be going over what I carry on a daily basis. Not my camera bag, but my everyday carry bag. I like camera bag videos, but I can't do them too often because my camera bag, one, doesn't change that often, and two, is only about camera and technical camera related stuff. And I feel like what's in my everyday carry bag is more essential and vital to me as a person and human being than my than what's in my camera bag but i am very excited to be making this video because i've been wanting to for a very long time because i'm excited to show y'all what i carry with me on me every single day opposed to just like what i carry in my camera bag whenever i'm going out to do a shoot because i only carry my camera bag when i'm going to do something very specific that involves shooting i carry my carry bag everyday carry bag every day i'm already tired of saying everyday carry bag so i'm just going to refer to it as my bag okay so now getting into the good stuff we'll start with the bag itself and the bag that i carry all of my essentials in this is like a gq kind of top five essential things but like photographer version yeah over the last couple of years i've been using a lot of bags but the bag that i'm currently using is the telfar puffer bag i think it's made out of like puffer material from like you know puffer jackets it's a telfar bag you know and telfar bags are very nice i have a couple telfar bags it's black owned and you know i like to support black owned businesses so that is what i'm doing and if you're looking at this and you're going wow volandis that looks like a purse and i will say yes it does look like a purse because i mean i'm i'm sure it is but i just like to call it a bag but it probably is a purse but i am okay and comfortable in my sexuality and comfortable with who i am as a human being to carry and wear whatever I want. So quick little funny story about this bag is that I just posted a picture of me holding this bag on my second page and I had somebody comment on it about how gay I was. I ended up blocking them. They made another page. They commented it again. I ended up blocking that page. They made another page and proceeded to again call me um, gay. And first of all, so what if I was? Second of all, I'm gay, but you've made now three pages to come and, and stalk me. But I'm, you know what? I, the internet is a funny place. It's crazy. It's a funny place. But anyway, yeah, I like this bag. You can hold it by the handles. I usually hold it by the handles when, um, you know, it's not cold outside. When it is cold outside, I like to, you know, pull these straps out right here and, you know, wear it as a cross body bag. So, um, yeah, you can wear it as a crossbody bag or you can wear it as a purse. I like to wear it both ways. I really don't care. So um, that's what I do. I really like the bag. It's very well made. Like I said, black on and it looks good. So that is my my bag that I carry all of my things in. So moving on, the next thing in my bag that I carry with me every single day is, you guessed it, a camera. As a photographer, I like to have cameras with me at all times. I like to carry very small cameras in my bag, like this Contax T2 or the Leica M6. Um, it's a way for me to have a camera on me all the time, not take up too much room in my bag. I carry the Leica M6 when I'm doing more kind of professional things or if I want more quality out of some images I'm about to take. And I carry the Contax T2 when I'm going to parties or a friend's house or just doing something, walking around, something that's not that serious. So um, always carry a camera in my bag. Who would have thought? Who would have thought that the photographer would carry a camera in his bag? I don't really need to get into the cameras. You already know what the Contax T2 and the con and that Leica M6 is about. So yeah. Moving on to the next thing is this Japan Camera Hunter. I do believe that's what it is um little film carrying case if i'm gonna carry film cameras i'm gonna need something to carry the film in so that's usually what i have on me a lot of these things that i mentioned that's in my bag i'm not gonna go into deep detail i'm just gonna tell you that i carry that i carry it and why i carry it so um yeah okay so the next thing that is in my camera bag is a pair of sunglasses these particular pair of sunglasses are from Aquila, i do believe um 
my eyes are very sensitive to very bright light from the sun so definitely in the summertime and also when it snows and the sun is out after it snows that sun reflects off the snow and it gets very bright and my eyes cannot handle that bright of a light so I always got sunglasses on me especially when I'm driving to I'm, I'm gonna need to be able to see if the sun's out so I always got a pair of sunglasses on me I don't wear them everywhere all the time but um I do wear them for for a reason sometimes I wear them in the house but like that's just to be cool or what I believe is cool so yeah I'm not gonna get into the obvious stuff that's in my bag like my phone or my wallet but um I will say my air tag that's on my keys is very important if you don't know what an air tag is you should definitely get one because i don't want to lose my bag or my keys so having an air tag is definitely very important so an air tag is always in my bag and on my keys next thing that we always got in my bag is my inhaler because i have asthma um i go on walks i do a lot of things i do a lot of moving around and sometimes i just need a little breath of fresh air so that inhaler be helping you boy out from here here and there so an inhaler always got to keep that in my bag you know the doctor prescribed it so i got to keep it on me all right so the next thing that's in my bag is indeed some moisturizer now y'all know i am a i'm a very dark black man and my hands get a little bit noticeably ashier than others so to keep my hands you know feeling good and looking good i like to carry moisturizer with me all the time especially during the cold months of the year i also have this weird thing with my hands where i don't like um textures i don't like when my hands feel weird and i like to keep my hands moisturized so they they don't feel weird so this fenty you know moisturizer has been the moisturizer i've been using for the last couple of months it's very good it's very feels good look it makes my hand my hands look good i like it a lot um keep it in my bag all the time also some of the homies be ashy when i take pictures of them and like their hands are noticeable in a photo I might have to toss them a little bit of a little bit of moisturizer so they can get right because you know sometimes the boys be having ashy knuckles and i can't be really having ashy knuckles in the photo so works for me it works for them so i carry it for everybody Keep it on the topic of taking care of your skin. This is lip balm um, from Kiehl's. I like this one a lot because it feels good on my lips and makes them nice and moist and, you know, looking good. Um, feels good, lasts a long time, and just gotta keep that in my bag because I can't be having ashy lips either. Speaking of ashy lips, my lips are probably, probably ashy right now, hold on. So the next thing that's in my bag that I've been carrying um, pretty recently is a pen. Having a pen on me is probably the most adult thing that I do because you never know when you're going to need a pen you might go to the post office you might need to sign something I also been signing a lot of dotted lines I've been working on my curse if you know what I'm saying but having a pen on you is is always you're not going to always need a pen but when you do need a pen at least you have a nice pen this pen is from Shinola it's made oh shit god damn <laughs> this pen particularly is like made out of like brass or something like that but it's very heavy it's just an overall nice very nice pen I love this pen it's like it's a very nice pen I like it a lot so the next thing that I always have in my bag no matter what is a lighter for lighter related activities there's a lot of like knick-knacky things that i collect lighters is one of them i have a lot a lot a lot of lighters um i don't know why i really just like lighters but having one in my bag is essential to me is essential to the homies it's essential to a lot of people outside of myself so i always carry a lighter also like people used to always ask me for lighters so i was like never had one and now i just like started carrying them but yeah man i really like lighters a lot so my favorite lighter is this cigarette lighter it looks like a cigarette but if you take this off it is um a lighter it's not gonna light but because it has no fluid but it, it is a lighter this is my this is my seven mile lighter because if y'all y'all know me i'm from the west side of seven mile so you know what i'm saying got my little seven mile lighter and all that you feel me but anyway yes lighters i keep a lighter in my bag all the time next thing that's in my bag is an extra do-rag um i don't really wear do-rags out in public i do a lot but like sometimes it, it all depends but i always keep one in my bag just in case i need to you know what i'm saying put the dreads up um you know protect them from whatever's going on out there in that world that nasty world we live in so you know what i'm saying keep a do-rag in the bag at all times you feel me next thing that's in the bag that's very important to the bag is this muscle massager this is a theragun let me turn it around this is a theragun muscle massager um you know massages your muscles but i just started carrying this in my bag not too long ago because i go on walks i do a lot of things i move around my i'm not as active as i used to be like in the gym and my muscles they be getting like tight they be uh 
you know what I'm saying, season up sometimes because, you know, your boy getting old and all that. But um, I also like to stretch. I like to wake up in the morning, stretch. Um, if I go on walks, uh, if I go do anything that involves me moving around a lot, I usually carry my muscle massage gun in the bag just so I can massage my muscles wherever I am because... You know what I'm saying? You never know how beneficial one of these is until you start using one. I like it though, it has three modes. This is fast, this is very fast, and then this is ultra, omega, super fast. But yeah, man, muscle massager, it's very important at my old age because my muscles don't work how they used to. All right, so next thing that I like to keep in my bag is a Bluetooth speaker when you're going on walks, because as y'all can tell, I, I walk <laughs> a lot. I move around a lot, but if you're going on walks, um, I used to shoot a lot of music videos too, and nobody would have a speaker, which is surprising that like rappers or singers or whatever wouldn't have a speaker, but like nobody had a speaker. So I just started really carrying a speaker in my bag because of that. So I always have a speaker in my bag. If I'm going on walks, if I'm um, somewhere and we need music or just, you know anything i'm always ready with a speaker this is the bose micro link mini i don't know something like that everything's going to be linked down in the description but this is the bose uh little mini speaker it gets very loud it's very good it's good sounds good it gets the job done so I always keep a speaker in my bag so that's what's in there Purple in the yellow palm angels, I play with the lake. Tuck your chain tuck your bitch boy i came in with the take talking about some 800 with this bitch ungrateful throw her out the whip also on the topic of music i like to carry some headphones with me at all times um if i go to like stores like a mall or grocery shopping or anything like that i like to either be on the phone or listening to music in my headphones because like large groups of people that i don't know kind of freak me out so my um so my apple airpods are perfect for that um i like that they're small can't nobody really see that you're wearing headphones and um yeah kind of just like indiscreet fit in your pocket they're small fit in my bag real easy so always keep those on me no matter what one of my favorite things that i have in my bag actually is my airpods all right and the last thing that i keep in my bag and all of y'all probably already saw this coming but it is ah my gun should clear that for youtube it's nothing in it as you as y'all can see is safe but as y'all know i am from detroit michigan as y'all also know i am an american citizen with rights as an american citizen i like to exercise my rights here and there so i do carry a gun on me i would like to protect myself um well be able to protect myself and the people that i'm around um if i can so i do carry a gun on me at all times it's always on me i got it on me it, no matter where i am i got it on me unless unless i'm somewhere where i can't have it on me but regardless i, I usually got it on me so yeah for anybody wondering this is a um xd mod 2 so 40 40 cal and uh you know very small as y'all can see fits in my bag fits in on my hip i usually wear it on my hip but if you know circumstances don't permit then i put it in my bag usually but it is what it is no matter what it's it's, it's, it's on me somewhere so ah also, if y'all don't know who Willem is, I'm sure everybody watching this knows exactly who Willem is, but he made these bags Long Weekend. Him and his girlfriend made a brand called Long Weekend, and they make these camera accessory bags, and um, I'm excited to use this one. This is like the perfect sized bag. It looks good. Um, I'm sure I can fit all of this stuff in there. Maybe not all of this stuff, but I can fit a lot of this stuff because I don't carry all of this all at the same time, but um, in the summertime and just like if I'm carrying less things, I'll probably carry this bag, to be honest. I'm, I'm happy I got this bag. It's a good bag, Willem. Con congrats. Good job great bag but anyway bro that's probably going to wrap it up for me i hope you guys enjoyed the video got something out of it um all of that stuff bro if you're not subscribed to the channel you already know the vibes bro subscribe if you're already subscribed i'm not talking to you because you already did what you had to do and you a real one but yeah bro we're gonna get out of here we're gonna go do some shit hope you guys enjoyed it if there's anything in my bag that you guys also carry in your bag let me know if there's something in my bag that you didn't even think about carrying and you might you know have to start carrying that also let me know i'm gonna be responding to the comments on this video so you know what I'm saying? Let's have some conversations. Let's do it. Anyway, um, see y'all next video, bro. Let's get it.